Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show for Friday, May 18th, 2018. In today's video, we're going to be talking about those dreaded eBay cancellations, a little bit more about drop shipping, sales, and your questions, comments, and concerns from last week's video. Need I point out to you that it is once again cloudy and rainy? I really put my foot in my mouth last week when I said we had two sunny days. I swear to Christ, since last Friday till this Friday right now, we have had nothing but cloudy, rainy days. The worst of the worst. Absolutely insane and cold. I'm gonna show you something. Right now, the temperature, just like yesterday, 57 degrees. We cannot even hit 60 degrees in the middle of May. It has rained every day, and on Tuesday, we had a line of severe thunderstorms cross this area that were almost like a tornado that devastated my area. I was without power for two days. Trees came down. The trees took down telephone poles and wires. There were live wires exposed on my block right here. So before we do any more eBay talk, I went through hell this week. I want to share the hell that I went through. I made a short little video each day documenting how it was raining every day, showing you the trees down, the wires down, and all that. So we'll do a quick cutaway to that, and then we'll get talking about eBay. All right, guys, it's Tuesday, May 15th, 2018, and we got a situation here, and it ain't good. Earlier, at about a little bit before five o'clock, some violent storms came through, totally knocked out power to my whole town and the surrounding area. The storms were predicted, so I left work a little bit early, and driving home, I literally had to dodge tree limbs falling in front of me. The wind was unbelievable. It didn't last long. It only lasted about 15 minutes as far as the wind was concerned and we had some torrential rain. Now it's raining just moderately, but I do not know when the power is going to come back. This is totally putting me out of business with my eBay sales because I can't print any labels, as you know, which means I'm gonna have to find a post office that is open, that has power, and I'll have to pay over the counter prices. The only positive thing is this bad boy right here. We get so many storms that knock out our power that years ago I bought a car charger for this. So this will always be working for me. But I just wanted you to see that every day I come out here and I tell you on Fridays, it rains every day. Well, it honestly does rain every day. It has rained, I think, every day, bar none, bar none, since my Friday video and there's just no end in sight. Peace. I'm not gonna yell today because this is just a little snippet video, a little addition. Alrighty, today is Wednesday, May 16th. Nothing has changed. Look at this, the rain continues to fall. Trees are still blocking many of the major roadways and wires are still down. And you wanna know what the temperature is right now? I'm gonna show you this. This is the high for today. 
59 degrees in the middle of May. It's all we can get. We cannot get out of the 50s and it's going to go down to the 40s. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to continue to document this every day. All right, today is Thursday, May 17th. The rain continues to fall. The temperature right now, 57 degrees. We cannot even hit 60 degrees in the middle of May. This is pathetic and it's gonna continue. So yeah guys, it has been a week of hell. I had to actually pay retail prices at the post office because I had no power for my printer. I couldn't do anything. The only device I had functioning was my little iPhone right here. So I got all my eBay information off that and did labels by hand and that's how I had to do my shipping. Disgusting. And there's no end in sight. They're saying rain continuing till at least Sunday. That's as far as they forecast. No sun here whatsoever. This is the absolute worst place for weather. I say this every week. I've documented it. Let us now talk about your questions, comments, and concerns from last week's video. Roland Picker wrote, Joe, I never miss a video you do. Always great information. You talked about having a buyer wanting a return and you were good with that only to see they did an item not as described on you making you pay return shipping. I thought, what a douchebag, only to see that I had one waiting for my approval after watching your video. My buyer stated wrong item shipped, but lucky for me, I got her to state in an eBay message that she bought the wrong size and color. So after eBay sent her a shipping label on my dime, I called eBay explaining what happened and they saw the messages between myself and the buyer and said it looked like a buyer remorse and that once I received the item back, call them and they will be refunding me the money for the label. It pays to be watching your videos. Thanks for the great content, that is helpful. This is a huge, huge loophole with eBay. All these fitchy, dishonest buyers can actually game the system. All they have to do is say not as described. And even though you, you can prove that it is as described, you will have to, at the beginning, pay for the label. Then when you get the item back, you call eBay a second time and they will reimburse you for the label, but still the buyer, the fitchy buyer, does not have to pay the return shipping. eBay is eating that cost. And you know, when eBay incurs an expense somewhere down the line, that expense is going to be passed to the populace. I think you know what that means. That is something they really, really, really need to address. And that's something I'll be talking about when I go out to Vegas later in the summer. Create and Adorn wrote, Hi Joe, I know you get a ton of questions, but if you get a chance to answer this, I'd appreciate it. I've commented before and agreed with you about customers that ask too many questions, always end up returning. So I have someone that now literally is on their sixth message with six different questions. <laughs> so I'm actually nervous they'll buy the item. With this fact alone, them asking so many questions before the sale ever prevent you from selling to them. It's not a cheap item, it's a vintage walking stick for $200. Or because it's a higher price point, would many questions make more sense in this situation? Thanks, Joe. I adore you, Vicky. I guess the question there is, is the questions that he's asking, or are the questions that he's asking already described in your description of the item? Like if you state the length of it, let's just say it's two feet. Does he say to you, what is the length of it? Or is he asking legit questions that are not covered in your item description? That's very important. But I sometimes wonder why people don't ask all their questions at one time and get them out of the way. Like, how long is it? What does it weigh? What color is it? You know, that kind of thing I can understand. But when it's one after the other and you answer one 
and they hit back with another one, and you answer one, and they hit back with another one. I can understand you being a little discouraged with that kind of thing. Mousy Pluta Prestige wrote, We should all be asking what happened to eBay. For better than a year or more now, all I get is buyers or potential buyers that try and strong arm you into lowering your price or buy the item and want a partial refund after the sale. Not because the item is defective, but because their buyer knows they've got you by the short hairs. eBay, to me, has now become a bastard's version of OfferUp or Craigslist. Sorry, Joe, I know you detest Amazon, but I get less D-heads there than eBay lately. Trust me, I get them there too, but far less than Feebay. I still think eBay is the best place to sell. I have no use for Amazon. I have told you how they mistreat their workers. Amazon, in my opinion, is a scumbag company. That's my opinion, and I'm saying it, period. Craigslist is for scammers. I will keep eBay anytime. Yes, 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 you're going to encounter problems now and then. I don't dispute that. About strong arming, I haven't encountered people strong arming me into lowering the price because I'll tell them to kiss off. You know it. If the item is $35 and they ask nicely, like, could you give it to me for 30 If they're willing to do it that day, I usually will do it. But if they give me any kind of lip, I just say try and get it locally. I have no problem doing that. And as far as strong arming into giving you a partial refund, I've heard about that, yes. I've heard that story. It's going to differ from case to case. I only had it happen to me once, one time. But I can understand you being a little bit concerned about that. On sales, BizHacks wrote, My sales are down this week. Not bad for starting up eBay again. Fitch has no brain with all the new features eBay has. How can anyone not make good money? Scammers always get busted and Fitchy buyers get the boot in the end. Ha ha ha, great video. Also on that, Robert K. wrote, Joe, I don't lower prices for buyers anymore for years now, like you did and got burned. Because those kinds of deals never work. Use the reply with offer button, but no lowering prices. The questions he asked woke the listing up. It almost never fails that the item sells to a different buyer after somebody asked the question anyway. Also on that, John E. Stock. I have lowered prices for buyers, and it seems that most of the time they never buy or even respond. I think they're control freaks, like people who are always late and those who like to dominate a conversation or take up two parking spots. <laughs> interesting comment. Deja Vu wrote, See this interesting story for an Amazon seller who gets its items drop shipped in eBay by other sellers. I'm going to put a link in the description box below about what he's talking about. It is quite a very interesting read, and for those of you guys who are really into drop shipping, I suggest you read that. <clears throat> Denver Flipper wrote, Why am I getting three sales while listening to your show? Put on a show twice a day, every day of the week, LOL. Blast from the past wrote, I would have told that non-buyer, Chuck you! <laughs> And the last comment of the day I'm going to read is from Classic Rock Lover. All hail the Fox News Cup of Life. Couldn't have said it better myself. That being said, let us take a drink from the Fox News Cup of Life early in the video so nobody gets nervous. Oh yeah, once again, drinking on a cold, cloudy, rainy day. All right, let's start talking about sales first. Sales this week were extremely strong for me, very strong. In fact, I set a new world's record on Sunday. I never saw it coming. Last week, as you know, a lot of you guys had dead sales. I did too. On Sunday, the one that just passed, the dam burst. I made so many sales from the period Sunday, let's say around noontime, to Monday morning at around 10.30, that I took a picture of all the boxes on the trunk of my car and I put it onto Facebook and got 
over 300 likes in one of the Facebook groups. I'm going to do a really quick cutaway now so you can see that picture, so you can know I'm telling you guys the truth, and I'm forthright. Check it out, my dudes and dudettes. A very busy Sunday indeed. I think that's pretty impressive, guys, and I sure hope you do too. Now, in last week's video, I put my foot in my mouth and I said I had not had any cancellations for the past two or three weeks. Well, Monday, two cancellations, two in one day. One guy bought an item in the middle of the night and immediately wanted to cancel. It was a $140 item and I was really bummed out about that. This guy had zero feedback on a guest account and he specifically signed up to eBay for no other purpose than to purchase my item. He purchases it and then he wants to cancel it. Unbelievable. The only thing I can attribute that to is after he made the purchase, eBay showed him the same item cheaper. The same thing happened with the other cancellation except it was during the day. And I got a ka-ching on my iPhone. I looked at the item and right away, it was an alloy wheel center cap. I had that gut feeling that I tell you I get occasionally. I said, this ain't gonna work out. I swear to Christ, not, not even five minutes, probably three minutes, I get a notification on my iPhone, a buyer wants to cancel the order. And for his reason, he wrote, I no longer need the item, please cancel the order. That makes absolutely no sense. Now think about this. You buy an item at, let's say, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Bang, you pay for it. Two minutes later, you realize you don't need the item? That's not the case. Again, I'm almost certain eBay showed him the same item cheaper than mine and he canceled mine and bought it from the other guy. What do you guys think about that? I'd really like to know. As far as returns, I would say, how many did I have this week? Maybe two, maybe two, which is acceptable for me. Also, on Tuesday, I was on eBay radio. They had asked me to do a live segment regarding shipping, shipping large items. If I think about it, I'll also put a link to that in the description box below. And I was a little concerned because, as you know, Tuesday we were set to have those violent storms. And my eBay radio segment was from 4 to 4.15. And they were warning us that the violent storms were going to arrive here between 4 and 5. And I was concerned because I was pretty sure from what they were saying it was going to be severe. And I said, oh, I hope we don't lose power right in the middle of my interview. This could be huge. This could be a major problem. But I was lucky. I was able to do my entire 15-minute interview with no problem. I was watching the clouds. At about 4.40, they got super dark. And I knew this was, it was imminent. And I thought, I thought I could get home before the storm came. So I jumped in the car, took off. Unfortunately, that wasn't meant to be. The storm hit with intensity. You should have seen the wind. Tree limbs were literally snapping down in front of me, right on the main road. Some of the roads became impassable. It was just sick. Absolutely disgusting. All right, guys. I don't really want to keep you too long today because it's so nasty out here. But let's do a quick rehash and then I'll let you go and you guys can have the floor and do comments and all those cool things. First of all, how were your sales this week? Did you notice a super huge spike on Sunday like I did? I sure hope so. Also, would you tell me have you had any incidents recently where people were trying to maybe, if I use the word strong arm you, into partial refunds or anything like that? I just want to pursue the comment that was made earlier that I read by by Mousy Pluto Prestige. I want to see if that's a widespread thing or if that's just an occasional thing. I'd also like to know basically how 
was your weather this past week? I mean, this is, this sucks. I'm used to clouds and rain all week. I'm used to that now. But losing power for two days was just beyond, beyond acceptable. Do you know that there are still sections in my area without power as I'm filming this video now? Trees are blocking a lot of the main roads and wires are still down. So I'm actually thankful that I'm up and running. But guys, as you know, I come out here every Friday to make these videos to try and help you. I sure hope I'm doing a good job. If you think I'm doing a good job, please leave me a thumbs up and tell me I'm appreciated and I'm on the right track. If not, tell me what you want me to address in the comments section below and I'll be glad to do that next week. Unless, unless God forbid you're that one fishy thing, that mess in Michigan. It's just beyond belief how anybody could let themselves get in that kind of shape. And you know me, guys, I'm not critical of anybody. I'm not. In fact, in fact, cheers to everybody that is not fitchy. Question. Do we have any aspiring songwriters out there? Artistically, I have no talents whatsoever. I cannot draw. I cannot sing. But I'm sure some of you guys are good and are talented. If we have any aspiring songwriters, I was thinking, and I've been thinking this for the longest time, maybe somebody out there could write something called the Fitchy song. I was thinking about a parody of a popular song with the words changed to accommodate a Fitchy person, or should I say the Fitchy person. I was thinking of the tune from the Backstreet Boys I want it that way, but it could be basically any popular song. If anybody can write a song that would be a parody that we could use as a Fitchy song, please email it to crazynydriver at AOL.com and I will sing it here if I'm able to, okay, which I would really try. It might scare off a lot of my viewers, but I will sing it live on a future video. If someone could do that, it doesn't have to be really long. In fact, I prefer it to be shorter. But I've been thinking about that for a long time. So if we have a songwriter out there that could do something, that would be great. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm Crazy New York Driver. You're not. Thanks for watching. Hope you make a lot of sales out there this week. And if you've learned one thing, Thing over the years watching my videos, it should be this. Don't be fitchy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you reap what you sow. <laughs>